Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at uh, PAFX. We have a very very important week ahead of us uh, next week. Lots of uh, major impacts event to keep an eye at and it's gonna be a bumpy ride. So as usual I will try to guide you through what will uh, possibly happen technically on the charts uh, mostly for the majors so um, yeah. While I roll the intro disclaimer, hit that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. Welcome back guys, a quick look at uh, the calendar for next week. Uh, Monday, it looks like it is empty, but it is not actually on Monday. Uh, we have the US Trade uh, Representative uh, Leitzer and Treasury Secretary Mnuchin are set to travel to China for the first high level face-to-face -face, uh, trade negotiation between the world's biggest two. <laughs> economies, uh, the US and the China talk um, that uh, did broke down since May. So uh, that is also a very big event that you do not see here on the calendar to then Tuesday uh, BOG and the Outlook report, monetary policy statement and the press conference uh, followed by uh, the uh, consumer confidence for the US. So uh, Tuesday uh, things really get started to then uh, Wednesday get the manufacturing PMI from uh, China, which is very, very important since it's been trending a little bit down um, for a while now. And uh, the question, are we going to keep being below the 50 and in the contracted contraction zone uh, to then uh, business confidence for New Zealand CPI quarter and quarter for the Aussie um, advanced non farm employment change for the US GDP for the CAD and the most important event on Wednesday and uh, the next week actually uh, the um, federal uh, fund rates the market is expecting a cut so this is priced in already the question is uh, all about the statement and the press conference uh, the guide the forward guidance will will the market keep bullying the the fed to keep cutting or will it be this one cut only and uh, um, not as dovish as the market uh, expecting so this is going to be very very important event uh, again the cakes in uh, manufacturing PMI from China on Thursday and uh, we then have the for the sterling the inflation report and the uh, monetary policy summary and the uh, bank rates vote no one expecting anything to change here though uh, ISM manufacturing PMI for the US on Thursday as well very important it is almost the only co country that is still having manufacturing above 50 here but even uh, US is also trending lower if we look back here we see that since September from the 61.3 uh, we've been trending lower so the question is will this trend continue and keep worrying the markets and uh, on Friday retail sales for the, all the trade balance for the CAD and the NFP for the US what is very very important here is the average hourly earning for the US this been halting for a while now as you see we um, there was no uh, improvement in that and this need to improve if inflation going to improve this need to uh, pick up a little bit so keep an eye on this this is the main uh, number to look at i think the uh, uh, the headline number is not as important even the unemployment rate is at a very good level still so nothing to worry about down here what's worrying the fed is of course uh, the average hourly earning that need to pick up for to help inflation so that was a quick look on the calendar so you need to keep an eye on those events because next week gonna be really bumpy and uh, there will be a lot of uh, spikes happening um, we'll start with the chart and as always with the Dixie to keep an eye where is the dollar at the moment and as you see 
last week we had a nice bullish uh, candle here on the dollar we broke previous high and we broke this uh, key level here where we had uh, many times tested as resistance here previously and even here now last week we broke all that and uh, we had a close above it so on the weekly time frame the next market objective should be to reach this level up here at around um, 9835 area this is gonna be uh, the the level that the market may want to uh, test so on the daily time frame we have a couple of wicks coming from the upside but still after a break above uh, this key level here after the break above uh, this area here that i'm talking about this is a very important level one could look for a possible retest and probably a continuation to the market objective where we may expect some um, good uh, defense from the bears at this level up here at around uh, 98.35 to uh, uh, 98 to 40. Uh, this is going to be uh, the key level that you should keep an eye at. So short term, possibly a uh, correction to the downside. You see it on the four hour time frame last week. We had this nice uh, bullish flag that got broken. We have some bearish divergence on the rsi on the four hour and uh, we should be looking first off uh, at the retest of this uh, key level here uh, to see if the bulls gonna defend and push it one more time i still think there is a possibility that we reach this level here after uh, the break above uh, this structure so uh, for now the dollar still looking uh, bullish and there is a possibility for that continuation oil i'm still uh, bearish on oil uh, i think what we have right now is uh, another um, possible bearish flag here after this nice impulse that broke previous low one could expect correction and continuation to the downside so uh, mainly on oil keep selling rallies is the idea so on the four hour time frame we see that we had this nice impulse we're having now this correction waiting for it to end a break below the flag will signal the continuation to the downside so mainly keep selling rallies the best would be if we get another attempt to this level up here or even a little bit higher toward the 98 area if that is the case try to sell from this level um, targeting uh, 94 and if 94 broken then we start looking for uh, 51 as well as a possible market objective to the downside gold halt in uh, this range so we're gonna need to look at the weekly time frame and as you see all the wicks coming from the upside on gold uh, rsi at the extreme overbought and um, yeah we halted here inside this range if we go down to the daily you see that we have an amazing uh, bearish uh, divergence on the rsi here if you compare these highs and these highs and you look on the rsi we, we have a, a very big divergence um, we're losing momentum after this very strong push here start losing momentum slowing down a little bit so i'm expecting gold to keep pushing lower at least toward um the 38.2 Fibonacci and the monthly pivot point here. So um, keep an eye on this possible continuation, as I said, at, at least toward this level where it may get defended and a break below that will send us maybe toward the 618 and monthly S1 uh, down here um, on, uh, on this market. So um, if we go down to a lower time frame to see what uh, we should be looking for, that would be uh, that you wait for a break and close below this structure here if that is the case if you get the break below that a strong one look for a correction to then look for the continuation toward this level um, basically to the bottom of this range and um, after that if the um, market break and hold below this then we start looking for the next major level which is monthly s1 so short term um, downside for gold let's not forget uh, it is now a um, bullish market absolutely after breaking this key level up here so um, a correction back down toward this area before the next leg is very possible so for next week and short term move is uh, what i'm looking for is uh, a possible reversal to the downside on gold euro usd uh, let's go to the weekly time frame and see where we are at uh, as you see where the euro is testing right now is a key level 
um, been acting a very strong support here previously as uh, we uh, we saw um, back in uh, May 2017 to then test it here April 2019 tested here in May 2019 as well and we are testing that level right now um, yet again so a key level here if broken especially a strong break below this that will open the door for another push to the downside and probably the close of this uh, Macron gap or the fr French election gap that we still have down here on this market so if we go down to the daily time frame you see um, even on the short term here this area been acting as a very good support so keep an eye on that on Thursday when we had the uh, um, uh, Draghi uh, speaking and uh, the the state the ECB statement we had uh, a choppy day here uh, first of um, we had a nice uh, bounce to the uh, to the upside all the way toward this uh, broken structure to then push back down close almost uh, where it opened and hold the held this level until Friday where we tested once again so we were discussing in our trading room this scenario that any retest to this level look to sell and then look to buy here as for now that is working well but we keep having an eye on this support level down here any break below this structure that will signal a continuation to the downside but as for now we should see that as support because we know previously this area been acting as a very nice support uh, so far and it is still not broken on a daily candle so unless that is not happening you should uh, keep seeing this a good support level and look for a bounce from uh, this area but if we break below that then everything almost changed a daily break and close below this area <clears throat> below this area here that would signal that we may do something like this and continue lower okay <clears throat> sterling usd let's go to the weekly time frame on that one as well and we're gonna also see that the sterling is testing right now a key support level here been tested back in april 2017 held as support here we had a very strong spike uh, in december 2018 and did hold again as support and previous week and last week we had um, a retest and bounce but friday we closed near the low so uh, the close was at this uh, support level it is still not broken but it's it looking uh, pretty weak in any case since we know that this area is a good support level we should keep an eye where the market is testing right now there is a possibility that the bulls may defend it a little bit but let's not forget we have lots of major event uh, next week so first off gonna be the dollar strengths or weakness that gonna that gonna matter here on wednesday to then uh, have um, this uh, major news event for the sterling uh, that may affect also this trade so be aware of possible spikes that you see one day up then second day down or vice versa on this market but technical levels are clear so keep an eye on this uh, area here 1.2367 or uh, 68 that is the area that you should be watching for a possible uh, bounce so uh, let's take off this possible head and shoulder the idea is not valid anymore so on the short term time frame uh, what the uh, we had here we had this higher low and we were anticipating a possible continuation toward 1.26 that didn't happen so we failed to make new high here and the market did break previous structure now even though this previous structure got broken let's not forget the last line of defense is down here around the monthly s2 that's why i'm i'm saying Keep an eye on this there is a possibility for uh, bullish defense but if that didn't happen and we got a strong break below this then we should be looking for a retest and continuation to the downside on on this market usd jappy we've been talking about this in my trading room and uh, we <coughs> we mostly been saying that as far as we holding above the 108 look for a retest and continuation toward 109 area so that is now um, 
almost uh, complete did not really reach the previous highs yet and that may happen um, so let's go to the daily time frame and see what we have right now this is the key high here that uh, you usually need to break for more continuation to the upside and this is absolutely a possible market objective next week to tag this high there is also a possible uh, inverted head and shoulder and uh, I still say uh, a possible one because uh, to be confirmed this uh, pattern need to break above the neckline to then look for retest and continuation so this neckline need to be broken for this uh, head and shoulder formation to be confirmed as for now it is just a possible pattern and it is not confirmed so uh, short term I think that we are gonna uh, maybe see a retest of this uh, broken uh, range here uh, around the weekly R1 from last week so look for this retest if you find any bullish evidence here there is a possibility that we see this market uh, testing the 109 level up here around the monthly R1 so that is uh, the short term uh, idea here unless this is not broken it is still resistance and you may see this happening once again on this market yeah so uh, keep an eye on those levels for next week um, USD chief let's go to the weekly time frame here we see that on the weekly time frame we still have this previous high is not broken and uh, since it is not broken this still could act as resistance what happened to be at around the monthly r1 as well so uh, possible market objective is to tag this previous high uh, there is a room with uh, on the rsi to keep moving higher as well on the daily time frame also we uh, we still see that this is the key high here so if you look at this structure you have these major swings here happening and the last major one was this lower low to then we have this another major swing that is happening here so this swing high is the key level this down here is our first uh, major higher low and uh, for this market to continue higher it need to break above this previous high to then make a correction and continue to the upside so uh, that is uh, the case here uh, and as you see on uh, the daily time frame no matter how we draw this trend line it is now uh, broken uh, with two daily candles so the continuation is possible but again this here may act as uh, at least as short-term resistance where we also have monthly r1 so to keep an eye on that you may see this happening and then a correction from that area any uh, correction back down toward this level where we had the weekly r1 here from last week could be a possible level for the bulls to defend so this is the broken structure right now this here was a broken structure that did not really get tested so look for this retest there is a possibility that you see this uh, continuation happening but a failed new high here could signal also that we may go all the way back down to retest these lows uh, at this area on um, on this market usd cad i'm still looking for this market to uh, correct a little bit higher uh, the main idea here is uh, to start a leg like this as we had here and as we had here so we had this correction leg correction and I'm looking for this second leg right now but short term what I'm looking for is um, this uh, short term bullish move to reach this uh, kill zone here between the 50% Fibonacci retracement and 618 and this previous structure here to act as possible area for the seller to defend so keep an eye on this we did not reach that level yet there is still a possibility that we see one more leg to the upside and then when the market reach this skill zone I will start looking for possible bearish evidence to short uh, this market here Aussie USD very weak um, during this uh, previous week uh, every single day was a bearish almost so uh, on the weekly time frame we see that we are at a uh, pretty important level soon so we may see another retest of this uh, level down here uh, and if that is the case 
there is still uh, more room to the downside on this uh, market especially on the lower time frame and if we go down to the daily you see that we may see a possible retest of this last line of defense on this market especially that we did break below this previous low yeah so uh, short term keep selling uh, rallies could be an idea here but again there is a possibility that you may see some bullish defense at these levels it is a broken structure but it is not the strongest break yet for our time frame a very very extended leg here so <coughs> Still, there is a possibility that you may see a uh, push to the upside here before the continuation. I would say up here is the key level to look for if that happens. So if um, the correction happened to the upside, keep an eye where we have this neckline. We draw a Fibonacci retracement. And what we have here is this area between the 50 and 618 as a possible uh, sell level when reached if it get retested then to look for another move to the downside another possible uh, scenario here could be um, some kind of um, bearish flag happening so not a bigger correction and if that is the case then you could start try to sell this flag for a retest of this last line of defense down here that is also a very possible scenario on this market New Zealand USD we go to the daily time frame this one is a little bit different because we still have a major higher low down here and a major higher high so this is a higher high a major higher low here this market still could um, bounce higher already or even reach all the way toward this low without changing this um, behavioral uh, correction here so this one still have uh, some hope since our last move was a major swing high and uh, the question is if we're gonna get a major swing low here happening if that is the case on a daily time frame we get any reversal pattern as a bullish engulfing or something like that especially if it happens on this trend line there is a chance that you may see this market trying another attempt to reach uh, this structure here but let's not forget structure wise it is pretty empty here now until we reach this previous low on this market so the <coughs> the bears could keep pushing this one to the downside as well um, <coughs> short term correction higher is also possibility here so uh, if you start seeing this market correcting to the upside i think this level up here could be a possible area that may give you some uh, trouble on the way up and another move lower is very possible the major level is still down here you should keep an eye on this this need to be defended for the bulls if they manage to break here then there is a possibility for a longer term continuation to the downside so two levels watch here for possible sales watch here for possible defend uh, and buyers to enter this market and let's do a bonus chart today new zealand cat this one is also um, does have a, a chance of reversal especially right now where we have this market testing the 618 after breaking above this previous uh, this previous high here so we have a nice higher high here um, happened uh, with a strong break above so normally we used to look for retest and continuation now on the retest we did not have any uh, real signs of continuation we had this uh, short term bounce but then the market broke below it and continued lower so i'm watching right now this area here as a possible uh, level of uh, uh, support where we have 618 previous neckline if we start getting bullish evidence here there is a possibility of at least a short-term retracement toward this level or maybe a continuation to the upside and the main reason i'm saying this is a possibility is of course because of this structure uh, break here that we had uh, so we had this first higher high the question is where gonna our higher low happen if this higher low happen here 
then there is a possibility for that continuation to the upside so uh, yeah guys that was it for uh, today thanks a lot be aware of those uh, major news events that will happen during the week and be very careful because we may get uh, some spikes in different directions and uh, it may hurt a lot if you're not using the right risk to reward and you really calculate your risk happy trading and see you next week bye bye